Chapter 98 Unforgivable Zhu Fang Xin saw Yi Jushang chatting with the other woman, but she was far away and could not hear their conversation, nor could she see their expressions. However, the two of them sat together so perfectly. They were simply a match made in heaven, making people feel envious. This damned Yi Jushang, he actually dared to look at another woman in front of her. How hateful! He had sworn that he wanted to pursue her. It had only been a few days, but he was already flirting with another woman. It was unforgivable. Another scumbag, hey Amph, Zhu Fangxin looked at the foot of the mountain for a while, and retracted her gaze. She did not want the dazzling scene to affect her mood. She wrapped the snacks in her hand and placed them in her clothes before starting to climb the mountain. Men were indeed unreliable. She could only rely on herself in this world, so she had to work hard to become stronger. As long as she had powerful strength, nothing else mattered. Zhu Fangxin turned off the messy images in her mind and concentrated on climbing the mountain. Although hiking was an arduous task, she knew that it could exercise her body and was a must to become stronger. She climbed the mountain not because Yi Jushan had instructed her to do so, but because she wanted to become stronger. In order to not let anything else affect her, Zhu Fangxin did not turn back too. Look at Yi Jushan even once after she started climbing the mountain. Therefore, she did not know that he had fallen asleep after being drugged while she was still working hard to reach the peak. Su Beifeng looked at the fainted Yi Jushan. Her eyes were filled with love and admiration. She wanted to reach out and touch his face, but she withdrew her hand halfway and did not dare to touch him carelessly. Instead, she said to the unconscious person, although half of what I did was out of selfishness, half of it was really for your sake. Zhusheng, you will forgive me, right? You definitely won't fall out with me over an insignificant and recently acquainted girl, right? I know you're angry about what happened back then. That's why you're so cold and heartless to me. Actually, you still care about me, right? Su Beifeng spoke to the unconscious Yi Jushang, her face filled with a blissful smile. At this moment, a woman in yellow walked over and stood behind Su Beifeng. She bowed slightly and said, Miss, Han Ji is on the move. She definitely won't let that vixen live to see the sun tomorrow. Huan Ji, do you think His Highness will hate me because of this? Su Beifeng suddenly became worried. When she thought of Yi Jushang's angry expression just now, she felt an inexplicable fear as if she had touched his bottom line. Miss, you're doing this for His Highness's sake, so His Highness won't hate you. He'll be angry for a while at most. After he's appeased, he'll think back carefully and definitely understand your good intentions. Even if he really hates me, I have to do this. That woman must not live, or else, his highness will be in danger if the ghost king finds out about her existence. Yes, please don't worry miss. It was Hanji who took action. The vixen will definitely die without a burial place. Huanji looked at the nearby mountain and revealed deep killing intent towards the person climbing. How dare she have feelings for the man her miss was in love with? She was simply overestimating herself and courting death. His highness belongs to our miss. No one can snatch him away.